Today we are celebrating a milestone on the channel, 150 vlogs, 150 daily vlogs. You've seen it all, the highs, the lows, the excitement, the exhaustion, and everything in between. And today really is a celebration of you because everything I've done so far has been for you and our relationship that we have and we've built is truly amazing. On today's video, I want not only to reflect on the past 150 days, but give some insight into what it's like to film, edit, and upload every single day and not miss an upload. And there have been, there have been some, some situations where I'm like, we are not gonna make it. We're, we're not gonna make the upload. And by some Hail Mary, in some miraculous way, like we get the video up. It might be late at night, but the video goes up. And I wanna tell everybody how I was able to achieve what I feel, and I've done a lot of hard things in my life, one of the most grueling, arduous, never-ending task with no reward, just, just the, uh, the plastic trophy at the end of the race. Being motivated is a big part of daily vlogging. I have this goal to film, edit, and upload every single day, but not having the viewers, not having the endorsements, the sponsorships, not having the, is this even worth it to back up the amount of time and energy and effort you put into the videos. It was a fantastic workout at the gym. Like you just saw there, I was gonna do a whole GoPro segment battery died on the GoPro and that brings me to a very valid point. You have to just roll with the punches. You cannot be type A. You cannot be meticulous when it comes to daily vlogging. The day shifts, the gear shifts, and it's just about getting the video out there at any cost. And sometimes it's an ugly video and it's a sad video, but it's a video nonetheless. For me, there was this curve on which the quality of the videos were created. At first it was at first it was okay with the quality decreasing because we're doing this thing and then we maintained some degree of quality and I could just tell as the weeks would progress and the burnout as they would say would increase the quality got worse and worse and worse. There's a quote that I grew up with that says, he who conquers everything conquers nothing. And I'm feeling more and more like that with the daily vlog. I need to do like a micro regroup, I feel. I don't need a day off or a week off. I just need like, I don't know, something to be reset in my brain. Perhaps what, that's what this video is. Reinforce the quality of the videos for this channel. But that that's gonna happen. If you're daily vlogging, the quality will go down sometimes, it'll be fantastic sometimes, it's gonna be all over the place. Hopefully your audience, hopefully you, appreciate all the ups and downs of the videos that are uploaded. Let's try to get him right on the edge. I did that's the project, that's close enough. Yeah, well, it is. Some guys park all the way over there and then they hike across. Yeah, that's, that's what you, I was You've been in the game too long, I think. You're a veteran, I can tell. <laughs> Howdy, hey. Howdy, hey, man. <laughs> I forgot we're in Texas. Dagan, how are you, sir? It's hard. You look tired. The reason why I can't conquer everything is because there's not enough time in the day. There's only 24 hours and I'm not just like, this teenage YouTuber that has nothing else to do. I'm trying to run these restaurants and run the family and also have my part-time filmmaking job on the side and maintain athleticism. So I'm trying to do all these things 
and time is my number one enemy. There's just not enough time in the day. And as much as I delegate, I, I feel like I'm a decent delegator. There's still things that I need to have my hands on to make sure that they get done to my liking and to my standards. And the, the, the days and the weeks and the months are flying by. And that has been the theme of this vlog is, is the passing of time. Daily vlogging is all about battling the clock and time management. And if you just let it get away just even a bit, there's no coming back. You can make a, a, you can make a recovery, but it is a difficult thing to recover. And uh, it's, it's unforgiving because the, the sun sets and the sun rises without fail and it does not wait for you. Sophia, how are you today? Good. Yeah? Yeah. Good. Today's my 150th vlog, no, daily no, vlog. I mean, like two years, not like 150. Well, 150 days straight without a break. Yeah. I've taken breaks before. I'm getting close to burnout. Like, I'm getting close to like giving up. I'm very tired. So good. I think I just fell in love with Sophia. You want a cinnamon roll? There's cinnamon rolls too. It was so good. Inevitably, when you're running this hot, and uploading at the velocity at which a daily vlogger uploads, something is going to break. So far, 150 vlogs in, I can say easily that my, my family life has suffered a bit. I try to keep time with the family precious, but there are situations where like, I have to chop a vlog up and I'm ignoring the children and ignoring my wife and she gets fed up with it, understandably so. And that causes a lot of stress in the family. And she's already stressed out because we have four children together and she's trying to keep this impossible household together while I'm over here playing with my computer and my camera like a teenage boy. So that is very uh, difficult to deal with. And then obviously the time that I'm playing with my camera and making these videos is time that I could be interacting with customers and really building the business like with hands on versus being like this abstract boss that has the, the employees working in the business. Not that I'm needed, but it doesn't hurt when the customers actually see the boss stopping by the tables, saying hello and interacting with them. You get that, that mom and pop feel to the experience. Good morning, Owen. Good morning, Chef. Do you have a catering order? Already? Yeah, I do. Okay. I have it in the window. Okay, I'll pick it up. Okay. Let's do it. I have like no time to eat right now. Green salad for breakfast. So good. Knock out this catering order. My Friday drop off to the Texas Retina Center. Can't be starting off a Friday with a big $400 catering order. Those catering pans can be deadly. Catering order was a big fat Greek success. It's a beautiful day and I hate to waste it doing admin work, but I do need to plow through some paperwork, emails, etc. Hopefully it doesn't take up all the day and I can knock it out quickly. I was 17 years old living with my dad and I was completely infatuated with bodybuilding. I wanted to be the best bodybuilder in the world. And my dad, after watching me eat and eat and eat and train and train and train, he told me something very profound, heartbreaking and real. He said, either you got it or you don't got it. And I don't think you have what it takes to be this big muscular monster. And that really hurt my feelings because in my head, I always thought that if you just grind as hard as you could and work as hard as you could, that you could achieve anything. Here I am 150 vlogs in and I, I just always keep telling myself, if you just keep uploading, keep uploading, keep telling the stories, keep educating people, keep entertaining people, that your audience will grow and you will reach some level of validation. And the truth is that 
has never occurred. And the truth is it's not going to occur for a majority of content creators of YouTubers. Daily vlogging is obviously the extreme end of filmmaking and YouTubing. And I have to be real with myself. Perhaps this channel is not niched down enough. Perhaps I don't have the charisma and can convey a message like so many other great creators can. I'm not nearly as charming. I can't form concise sentences or thoughts or convey those to you the way that so many great creators can. And I have to be okay with that. And as I'm grinding and grinding and grinding now for 150 days, I also ask myself, what about the opportunity cost? The amount of time and energy and effort, if you took this out of creating these videos and hanging out with, with your friends on, on YouTube, what if you put that same energy into building more businesses and creating more wealth for your family or refortifying the businesses? I think I talked about this earlier, but the opportunity cost is a huge factor in, in this YouTube saga. And it's something that makes me contemplate whether continuing on is a viable option or if it's something that I need to cut back on. And I know so many of you said, Coast is cut back, cut back. We don't need you uploading every single day. But that's just like the, the personality traits that I have. It's, it's, it's all or nothing. And it always has been with everything that I've done. I, I'm just the way I'm wired. That's, that's kind of what I'm thinking right now, though, is, is taking a step back from the channel. Uh, I don't know if that's what my ultimate decision is going to be or if I'm just going to continue to to dredge through it and, and continue to upload. I just need to make sure that I'm not doing it in a state of distress and that I'm continually uploading out of enjoyment because I do enjoy filming and I do enjoy hanging out with each and every one of you and I do enjoy the challenge of what this is. I just need to see if the selfishness of this is worth what I'm sacrificing, if, if that makes sense. All right, guys, that is the vlog for today. 150 daily vlogs. I just wanted to reflect back on them and thank you for all of the great times and I, I hope that we can continue this journey together and continue making memories and enjoying life and, and all that it has to bring. There is a lot going on and I can't wait to share this next chapter, the next 150 vlogs with all of you. As always, thank you for joining me on this roller coaster ride. Like, comment, subscribe, do all those things uh, for me and I will see you tomorrow.